All right, I am taking you on a driving lesson. I'm so excited. Are you excited? I can't wait to teach you how to drive. Now, in this lesson, I'm going to teach you highway driving. Highway driving. Now, highway driving is quite different than city driving. Right? Because if you're driving sort of in a city, there's a lot of stop and go, stop and go, right? There's lots of red lights, stop signs, that kind of thing. But you know what? On a highway, you can just drive. So it's pretty easy. So, whoa, it's raining. It's raining. Do you like the rain? I love rain, but I like summer rain. I don't like winter rain, but it's summer right now, so I'm happy. I like the rain. Okay, so highway driving is really easy. You just drive. <laughs> it's that easy. Okay, uh, now the highway I'm taking you on right now is called Stony Trail. Stony Trail. Okay, now Stony Trail is a highway that goes almost all the way around Calgary. Okay, so it's sort of like a ring road. It goes around the city. So if you want to get from the north to the south, instead of going through the middle of the city, you know, it might be faster to take the ring road all the way around the city. Okay, so I'm on Stony Trail right now. Now, here you can see there are two lanes. Okay, these things are called lanes, right? So on this side of the highway, there are two lanes. And on that side of the highway over there, I think there are two lanes as well. So this is called a divided highway. A divided highway. That means there is some sort of a barrier in between the traffic going this way and the traffic coming this way. Right, see there? There's the ditch. There's a big ditch with grass in between uh, the, the highway, right? So everyone in this, where I am right now, is going in this direction. And look at the color of the lines on the road. They're white. Right? White lines mean that the traffic is going this way. Now, if that center line would be yellow, then that would mean traffic would be coming this way in that lane, in, in the left lane. Okay, so right now I'm driving in the right-hand lane. Now, see the center line there? That is called a dotted line line a, a dotted line it means it's like dot dot the, the paint stops and goes right whereas the line on the right side of the road is a solid line okay it's a solid line so that solid line is separating my lane from the shoulder see that part there on the side of the road that's called the shoulder. Now, this road has a really big shoulder. It's almost like another lane. You, you could probably drive there if you want, but that's illegal. You, you, you can't drive there. You have to drive in a lane. Okay, now I'm in the right-hand lane. Now, it's good if you're driving slow to stay in the right lane. Look at these people passing me, right? A BMW passed me and an Infiniti passed me. That's because they wanted to drive faster than me. So they were in the left lane, they passed me in the left lane, and then they both turned back into the right lane. Why did they go into the right lane? Well, it's because the left lane is usually used for passing people. So. Let's give you a demonstration. Right now I'm going 100 kilometers an hour. Now, usually, 
the speed limit on highways in Canada is 100 kilometers an hour. Okay. Some smaller highways, it might be like 90, 80 or 90 kilometers an hour. Um, and on really, really major highways, it might be 110 kilometers an hour. Like the Trans-Canada Highway. Do you know what the Trans-Canada Highway is? It's Canada's biggest highway. It goes all across Canada from coast to coast. Okay, The highway has two names. The Trans-Canada Highway and the number one highway. Okay, so if you want to go from like Vancouver all the way to Halifax, you need to take the number one highway or the Trans-Canada Highway. If you did that trip, it would take you so long. I, I don't even know, maybe like five days? Five days of driving, I think probably at least four days of driving from one side to the other. I don't know, it would be, you know, like from Calgary to Vancouver, it's like a 12 hour drive. And that's only a small part of Canada. So if you go across all of Canada, it might take 50 hours, I don't know, to drive across Canada. I've never checked. Maybe I should check on Google Maps. Okay, uh, but let's get back to driving. All these people have passed me. I was going to pass someone to give you a demonstration. But let's just pretend, okay? Right now, there's nobody in front of me, and I don't want to drive fast because then I might get a speeding ticket, all right? I'm already driving a hundred, just over a hundred kilometers an hour. So I don't want to get a speeding ticket, right? A speeding ticket means when you see the police pull, you know, they put on their lights and they pull you over and they say you were driving too fast. Okay, so I don't want that to happen. So let's just pretend. Okay, let's say there's someone in front of me and I want to pass them. Then I, what do I do? Well, I need to move into my left lane, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoulder check. This is called shoulder checking. Okay, you always need to shoulder check because sometimes there's somebody right beside you. That's called your blind spot, your blind spot. Sometimes the mirrors sort of, they trick you. There could be someone right next to you and you don't even realize it. That's called your blind spot, okay? So when you're changing lanes, it's very important to shoulder check, to shoulder check, okay? Um, now the other thing you need to do is you need to signal signal that means you turn on your blinkers your blinkers like this I turned on my blinkers now I'm going to follow that Toyota SUV that just passed me okay so I'm going to shoulder check and then I'm going to move now I'm in the left lane so I'm going to turn off my signals I'm gonna turn off my blinkers and now I'm driving a little bit faster. Now I'm actually going 120 kilometers. Wow. Okay. So, like I said, these big things on the side of the road, they're called the shoulder. So, you could drive your bike in the shoulder. A lot of people, if, if they're going to bike somewhere, they, they bike on the shoulder. But actually, biking in Calgary is terrible. It's pretty dangerous. Calgary is not a biker friendly city. So I wouldn't recommend biking. You know, I've biked a few times in Calgary and sometimes people honk their horn at you. Beep, beep. And sometimes they even, they, they shout things at you. Get off the road. <laughs> so it's not a very good place to be a biker. So if you live in Calgary, you really need a car. All right, so what else can I say about driving? You know, earlier today, 
it was really windy. It was so windy, but right now, it looks like the wind has died down. It's died down. That means it has become less. It's almost completely stopped. I don't think there is any wind right now. It doesn't look like that anyway. Nothing, the trees are not moving. Nothing is, I think it's, it's very calm right now, so I'm happy. Okay, so right now behind me, there is a VW SUV. He wants to pass me, but I'm taking his lane. So I'm going to move into the right lane to let him pass me. That's a nice thing to do. That's polite driving. So now look, he's passing me and he's happy. Okay, uh, now behind me is a semi, a big semi, those kind of trucks that I just passed, those are called semi-trucks. Now, I'm gonna show you something. I'm going to move into the left lane, and I'm going to let the semi pass me. I'm going to let him pass me, and then I'm gonna show you what tailgating means. Oh no, I can't do that because someone is right beside the semi right now. Um, I should let him pass first. And then, and then I'll show you what I mean. I should have shown you when I was behind the semi. Tailgating, that's a word we use when you drive very close behind someone. If you drive right behind someone, that's called tailgating. It's, it's not very good. It's, uh, it's sort of, uh, it's a, it's a bad thing. People don't like it when you're right, driving right behind them, right? They get a little bit nervous. So what I'm going to do, but I'm going to show you that right now. So you can see here beside me, the semi is passing me in my, uh, in the right lane. Okay, here it goes. Now I'm going to tailgate the semi. Have you ever tailgated anyone? Look at this. I'm going to go into the right lane now. <laughs> now I'm driving right behind the semi. I'm tailgating him. Oh, he's turning. Should I follow him? I'm going to follow him. See where he's going. Okay, so what else can I say about driving? Now, another important thing about highway driving is to get on and off a highway, you need to merge, merge, okay? So to merge means to, to go onto the highway. That's where your road meets the highway. So that's called merging. So right now I'm going to merge off the highway somewhere. I don't know where, um, let's see, so yeah, I'm going to take the next road that goes off. Okay, actually this lane just turned into the the off lane. So I didn't need to merge. But maybe coming up, I'll have to merge. I'm not even sure where I'm going. I think I'm lost. <laughs> I'm lost. I've been talking too much. Okay, now look at this. This road is going here. Now I'm going to merge to Pagan Trail West. So this is called Pagan Trail. So I just merged off. Now if you're listening to Google Maps, if you have Google Maps open or Apple Maps, uh, it'll say merge onto Pagan Trail. Okay, now look at these signs here. See these yellow signs coming up? They are merge signs. And look, there's even a sign right here. See. See that yellow sign? It says merge. And these lines, white lines on the road. Okay, now I'm merging onto this lane or merging into this lane. Okay, so I merged. Um, what else was I going to talk about? Yeah, the wind. The wind died down. I'm happy about that. I don't like windy weather. You know, one thing I don't like about living in Calgary is that the weather is either really cold 
or it's really windy. And I don't like either of those weather systems. Okay, I like calm, warm weather. That's my favorite kind of weather. Now, sometimes in the summer, we get that kind of weather here in Calgary. And that makes me so happy. Uh, but you know what? There's only maybe like, I don't know, 50 days in a year that are really nice weather. In a whole year! Only 50 days! Can you believe it? Whereas other places around the world have calm weather most days. It's very consistent. Calgary weather is very inconsistent. It means it's it's just it's all over the place. All over the place means inconsistent. Okay, so there's a little bit of rain collecting on my uh, windshield, so I'm going to turn on my windshield wipers. Okay, so these are called windshield wipers. Now, I'll be honest with you. I was so busy talking that I think I'm lost. I don't even know where I am. Okay, I'm, I'm in the south. I'm somewhere in South Calgary. So I'm going to try to get back north. It's going to be an adventure. So right now I'm sitting at a red light. Then after this, I'm going to try to find my way back north. I know that way is north because the sun is setting over there, right? The sun always sets in the west and rises in the east. But in Canada, actually, the sun sets in the northwest because Canada is so far north in the world that the sun sets over there. Even though west is that way, the sun actually sets over there in the north. So what else can I talk about for highway driving? Okay, we, we, we talked about the lanes, right? The dotted line, that means, oh, one thing I didn't mention. Oh, look, my lane is coming to an end. <gasps> I need to do something. I need to merge. Oh, okay, Whew, I merged into the next lane because my lane just ended. I don't know why it ended. It just ended. So sometimes that needs that that happens. So you need to look ahead to see if your lane will end and you need to go into a different lane, right? Sometimes that's going to happen. Okay. Now, one thing I was going to mention is if you see a white line, that means you can change lanes. But if it's a solid line, if it's a solid line, that means you can't change lanes. You, you can't pass anybody. Okay, I'll, I'll see if I can give you an example. So, um, right here I have a yellow line on my left. That means I can't go that way. If it's yellow, remember there's oncoming traffic. Oncoming traffic means traffic is coming from the other direction. Like, look, see this yellow line? If I turned left, I would crash into that bus. That would be so bad. I would die, right? So the yellow line means that there's oncoming traffic. Also, it's solid. That means that I can't pass anybody here. So let's say there was someone in front of me that was driving really slow. I can't do anything. I'm stuck. I can't pass them because this line is solid. That means it's too dangerous to pass them. Okay, that's the law. If, the, if I try to pass them and the police see me, then the police are going to be really mad at me. They might even, I don't know, they give me a ticket. I'm sure they give me a ticket. Usually tickets in Canada cost, you know, they, they might be like $100 for a cheap ticket if you're speeding or if you do something small. It might be like $80 or $100. Um, and, and it can go really, you know, high, like you could pay, I don't know, like maybe $300, $400, $500 if you're doing something really bad. Okay, I know where I am now. I'm not lost anymore. See that sign up there? It says Deerfoot Trail. Now, Deerfoot Trail 
is the main road. It's basically a highway that goes through the middle of Calgary. Okay, so I'm glad I can show you this too, because now I showed you the the ring road, which was called Stony Trail, and now I'm going to show you, remember you always have to shoulder check when you're going to turn, okay, now I'm going to show you Deerfoot Trail. Deerfoot Trail is the biggest road in Calgary. It goes from all the way in the north to all the way in the south, okay? So look at this. Oh, there's this construction sign. That means there's construction ahead. They must be fixing something. So I need to remember that because if you are going too fast through a construction zone, then that's really bad. Then the speeding ticket doubles. That means you have to pay twice as much if you're in a construction zone. So I'm going to pay very careful attention to the speed limit. So it says the speed limit is 100 here. So we'll see. It might change up ahead. But right now it's 100 and I'm going almost 100. So right now I'm safe. Now these orange things on the side of the road, they're called uh, pylons. Pylons or traffic cones. Traffic cones or orange pylons. I don't even know what the official word. Okay, now see this lane where I'm in right now, it, it's a turning lane. So if I stay in this lane, it will force me to go, but I don't want to go that way. I need to merge into my left lane. <sighs> yes, I merged. See, it would have gone, oh, look, speeding. The sign said, well, actually there were two signs. One said 80 and one said 50. I don't know what the speed limit is. Is it 80 or is it 50? Well, this guy who passed me is going about 80. So should I trust him? I don't know. Maybe I'll just go 70 to be a little bit safe. If there is a police, then he'll give that guy a ticket and not me. I want him to get the ticket. I don't want to get the ticket. Okay, now look. Here's another orange sign. It says end construction. So the construction is is finished. See that white sign? It said speeding fine doubles. So in any construction zone, the speeding fine doubles. So that's why you have to be very careful that you don't speed through a construction zone. Okay, so now I'm on Deerfoot Trail going north. Now, if you look over to your left over here, you can see downtown Calgary. I'm driving beside a river called the Bow River, and that goes near downtown. So all those big buildings, they are in the downtown core. Core. We use that word to talk about the downtown. Okay. So I'm just going to drive north here, and I'm driving underneath these bridges called overpasses. So a bridge like this is called an overpass. An overpass. Um, okay, so now you can see this road has three lanes. Well, actually it has four lanes. One, two, three, four. But the right-hand lane, the, the furthest right-hand lane, is probably going to turn off onto another road. So really, Deerfoot Trail only has three lanes. Okay, so I don't know. I don't want this video to be too long. Should I just end the video here or should I keep rambling on? Rambling means just talking aimlessly. Aimlessly means you don't even know what you're talking about. You don't know what to say. You're just, you're just rambling rambling. So I'm in the center lane here. I have so many options. I could go to my right lane. I could go to my left lane because look at these lines on the road. Okay, they're white, which means all the traffic is moving in the same direction. Also, they are dotted lines, which means I can, 
I can change lanes, okay? So I'm going to change to the right lane. Remember, shoulder check, signal, then move, okay? When I was in uh, high school, I took a driver's training class, and the driving instructor taught me like this. I think it was called MS. SSM or something like that. Mirror, check your mirror, shoulder check, signal, shoulder check, move. MSSSM. Mirror, shoulder check, signal, shoulder check, move. Okay, so remember that. Uh, that's that way you'll be safe when you drive. Now, sometimes driving, especially if you're a beginner driver, it can be so overwhelming. It can be so overwhelming because you have to, you have to look at, you have to think about so many things, right? You have to look at, you have to check your mirrors. You have to watch your speed. So you're not going too fast or too slow. If you're driving too slow, everybody's going to hate you on the road. If you're driving too fast, you're risking getting caught so you need to drive in sort of a, a normal speed so you need to look at the speed you need to watch the cars around you so it can be very um, very overwhelming we call that information overload information overload it means this is just a lot of a lot of information okay so I'm going to turn right here I'm going to hang a right and I'm going to merge onto McKnight Boulevard Northeast. I live in the Northeast, okay? So I think I'm going to go home. Let me think, is there any last thing I wanted to teach you about highway driving? Oh, I forgot. One thing I wanted to teach you was about cruise control. Do you know what cruise control is? Cruise control is where you set the speed for the car and then the car just goes that speed and you can take your foot off the accelerator. You can take your foot off the gas pedal. There's two pedals down there. One is called the accelerator or gas pedal. You can use either word. Um, the other pedal is the brake pedal okay so I'm gonna show you right now uh, cruise control I'm going to set it here on my steering wheel I'm going to set the cruise control for 60 kilometers an hour now I took my foot off the gas pedal and the car is just keeping the same speed okay that's called cruise control it's awesome so now I'm just gonna go until I need to slow down, then I'm going to hit the brake, right? Hit means to, to press the brake. Oh, hey, I'm very near the airport. Look, let's see if we can see a plane. Oh, I can see a plane way over there, but you probably can't see it in the camera. This is the runway, Calgary. Hey, if you come to Calgary, you're going to be landing here at this airport. That's so exciting. I hope you come to Calgary if you want but it's cold and windy, remember that. If you don't like that kind of weather, stay away. <laughs> but you're welcome here in Calgary. So I think that's about it for my highway driving lesson. I hope you enjoyed it and I'm gonna see you in a lot more driving lessons. Um, I'm gonna teach you city driving. I'm going to take you on a lot more shopping trips grocery shopping. I'm going to teach you how to pick up the mail. I'm going to teach you, I don't know, let me know down in the comments. What do you want to learn? What do you want to see in Calgary? Let me know and I'll take you on a trip to that place. I hope anyway. So let me know down there in the comments and as always, I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.